welcome back to the Sports Perspective TV viewers and subscribers. As always, thank you for tuning in. And if this is your first time coming across the channel or you haven't subscribed as yet, you know, definitely hit that subscribe button. So in this video, uh, we're going to be talking about the West Indies um, team and their players. Um, we see where they they have improved in the latest um, T20 rankings, you know, both the team and some of our players as well. So I'm going to be sharing that with you. And also talking about the, the first um, uh, ODI between uh, West Indies uh, women and Sri Lanka women. Um, that took place um, yesterday. And uh, so we're going to be sharing um, the match details of, of that one as well. So just stick around to the end of the video while we discuss all of these things, right? So starting with the match between West Indies and Sri Lanka. Um, so the West Indies um, women team, like I mentioned, they, they went up against the Sri Lankan women team. And um, Sri Lanka won the first um, the first match. You know, it's a, it's a three match series. So West Indies are um, touring Sri Lanka. You know, they'll be playing three um, ODIs and three T20s. Uh, so Sri Lanka won the first match. Um, and there are a lot of implications for this match as well. Um, so for the, the 50 over um, World Cup, they I think it's the top six teams that qualify. And uh, West Indies are currently just a bit out of the top six so um there's a lot banking on this series for them but scores in the match right so west indies batting first you know they got to a total of 195 all out so they were bowled out in 47.1 overs for 195. um leading the way with the batting for them was uh captain you know healy matthews you know she scored 38. um stephanie taylor also chipped in with 33 runs and uh sherman sherman campbell she scored 27 runs as well so they were the, the top scorers for the West Indies team in their innings of 195. Uh, Sri Lanka in reply, they got to 198 for four of 34.1 overs. So it was a, a very quick chase for Sri Lanka. Um, leading the way for them with the bat was uh, Sama Marira. She scored 44. Um, Pereira also scored 43. Uh, Gunnar uh, Ratne scored 40. And uh, Atapatush um, scored 38. All right, so um, th those were the top scorers for Sri Lanka in their innings. You know, they they like I said, they chased down the total in, um, very quick. Um, taking the wickets for the West Indies was Afi Fletcher, so she took two for 31, and uh, Alia Aline, she took uh, two for 22. All right, so um, hopefully the, the West Indies team can bounce back um, in the remaining matches. Um, you know. I would, you'd say I've, I've, you'd say 195 was a was a decent score, you know. But um, the concerning thing for me was um, is, isn't even the fact that they lost the match, but it was how fast um, Sri Lanka was able to chase to on that total of 195. You know that that's um, very concerning for for me as a, as a fan watching. Um, I didn't watch the, the match exactly, um, so and sometimes the results can be a bit um, I say deceiving, right? So. Yeah, I don't know if, if it was poor feeling or just poor poor bowling overall um, that caused the, the 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 team to lose by such a huge margin or caused Sri Lanka to chase on the total um, that quick. Um, you know, and poor feeling in the sense that you know I don't know if um, the, the the team dropped um, catches or missed um, opportunities to get the Sri Lankan players out. Um, but nevertheless, you know it's a bit concerning that Sri Lanka was able to chase on that total that fast. But hopefully they can bounce back in the remaining matches and um, win the series. You know, um, I was definitely looking forward to this series after how dominant they were against Pakistan. So um, a bit surprised that they lost the match. But like I said, you know, hoping that they will bounce back in the remaining matches and are able to win the series and um, you know get themselves an automatic spot for the, the, the 50 over World Cup. Right. Um, so moving on to the 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 West Indies T20. Um, West Indies men's team T20 rankings now. So um, ICC released their their most um, recent um, T20 rankings for both teams and players in both the batting and, and bowling department. Um, in the team rankings, the West Indies um, on the back of their their unbeaten run in the T20 World Cup so far, you know they have improved to um, so they are now ranked um, number three in the world. Uh, moving up from four, right? So um, in the 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 in the rankings that was released um, prior to this one, they they had moved up to the fourth spot, and they have um, since um, improved to now being in the third spot. Um, 
are e on equal points as England, but um they are in the third spot ahead of England. Um both Australia and India are the other teams that you know round out the top four. Um so you know, hopefully the West Indies can just continue in this rich vein of form that they've been in and continue to improve in the team rankings as well. Um, as it relates to the players now, um, from a batting standpoint, uh, so Brandon King, he is the highest ranked um, West Indian batter in the T20 format. You know, he moved up a place from um, eight. So now he is ranked at number seven in the world in the T20 batting rankings. Um, other West Indian batsmen in the top 30 are Nicholas Puran. You know, he, he still remained at number 19 in the rankings. And uh, John to Charles, he improved from 25. And he is also tied at, in the 19th position with Nicholas Puran. Um, so those are the, the, the only West Indian batters in the top 30 of the, the, the batting rankings. Um, moving on to the bowling now. Um, so Akil Hossein is still leading the way uh, from a bowling standpoint for the West Indies. He is ranked, so he moved up a spot, so he is now ranked number eight in the world, uh, moving up from ninth place, which he was ranked in the previous ranking that was released. Alzar Joseph as well, you know, he is now ranked 17 in the world, moving up three places uh, to now being ranked uh, 17th in the world. Um, Ramar Shepard, he is um, ranked at 28. You know, um, I think that's where he was ranked in the previous ranking as well. So he didn't um, move up or, or, or move down in the rankings. And Gurakesh Moti, he is ranked at 29th as well. Uh, on the same amount of points, but um, I think in the previous ranking, Gurakesh Moti was ranked at 27th, but no, he's ranked at 29th. Um, so those are the, the, the West Indian bowlers that are in the top 30 of the bowling rankings as well. Um, so, I must say a huge shout out to all, all, all of these players, you know, all of these batters and all of these bowlers. And the team overall, you know, they've been performing well. The uh, the bowlers have been doing better than the batters, especially in the World Cup. But there's no doubt in my mind that the batting will come good um, in this World Cup as well. And um, like I mentioned in previous videos, you know, carry us to winning this championship. But a huge shout out to all the bowlers that have uh, made improvements and are climbing in the rankings. Likewise, the batters as well. Um, so Brandon King and Nicholas Pura and, and Charles in the batting and in the bowling department, it's Akil Hussein, Alzara Joseph, Romario Shepard and Gurakesh Moti. So, um, but that's all I have for you in this video, viewers and subscribers. You know, as always, you know, thank you for tuning in. You know, definitely like the video. You know, share the video as well, you know, um, share your thoughts in the comment section and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so as yet. Thank you for, for watching and I will see you in the next video.